welcome back or welcome if you are new. Welcome to another day of Vlogmas. So I am sitting in my room with the cutest little mug that I got from TJ Maxx. It says it's the most wonderful time of the year, which it absolutely is. Drinking hot cocoa to get into the spirit. I have lights hung, but you can't really see them because it's light outside. I wondered if I should just film this when it was dark, but then I'd have to turn my light on anyway so that you could see me, you know? So we're just going with it. So I wanted to start the video by giving you some tips for wrapping that I have. You may know all of them. It's just what I know, I'm only 23, so it's not like I have a ton of magical advice. But it may be things that you haven't thought of. So a few things that I do. Always, 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 always go to TJ Maxx the day after Christmas. Always. Everything is at least 50% off, sometimes more. So wrapping that is usually $4 is then 2 for a ton of wrapping, which is how I ended up in this situation <laughs> so I don't know maybe don't always go but I pretty much like by the end of Christmas I will have run out of a good amount of these so I love wrapping paper I love wrapping as this video will show you but that is my first tip always go to TJ Maxx it's where I got my tree holder as well and it's where I got my ornament container it's a great place to get Christmas decor. Just anything Christmas, it's 50% off. So my plan, especially this Christmas, since I am doing something the day after Christmas, is to be there at 10 a.m. when they open. And even when I've gone like later in the day, there's still tons of stuff. So it's great. It's where I get all of my penguin wrapping. My sister is obsessed with penguins. So it's where I get all my penguin wrapping and just like such cute wrapping paper. I just love TJ Maxx wrapping paper. It's just the best. Another tip is especially for kids in your life, if they like something in particular, check the dollar store. So it does not come, I will be honest, it does not come with a ton of wrapping, but it's a dollar. I got, I have a Mickey Mouse, I have a Paw Patrol, I have an Elsa, and I have one more under there somewhere. But it's great to individualize your wrapping to help you figure out what gifts are for who, and just, it's so fun. They see their gifts under the tree and they're like, that one's mine, I know that one's mine. So that's a fun thing that I have started to do. Another thing that I have started is I can't really show you, but I have this notebook and I have everybody that I've bought gifts for and then what I have bought for each of them, which I keep on a note in my phone as well as I buy things like while I'm out or if I wanna check to see like how much I've spent on this person, whether I can afford to buy, whatever it is I'm thinking about buying. So I do that and then, and then go to a new page and I write down each person I've bought gifts for and then I write down what wrapping I do for what gift, which is super, super extra and I'm aware of that. But sometimes on Christmas morning, people will be like, can I open this one? And I'm like, I don't even know what that is. So I don't know if I'll use this. I, it's just an idea, especially for parents because I feel like my mom a lot of times is like, oh, don't open that one. Or like, I'll open one and she's like, oh, I wanted you to open that one first or I didn't want you to open that one yet. So like, if you have any sort of method that you want people to open things in, if you get like two gifts that are combined, there's one thing I got both my parents and my sister and so I want them to open that at the same time. Just that kind of thing. I just wanna know what is what. And so I write down like red wrapping paper with trees for my dad is this. So I will put what I wrapped it in. So like striped wrapping paper and then I write what the gift is and then I write how I labeled it in case I even forget sometimes like this one for my brother that I'm looking at, I labeled it sleepover buddy, but I absolutely could assume incorrectly that it was for my sister. 
So this is just helps me because I try to be creative with the name tags. I don't want them all to just say something boring. And it's just something that my family does. It started with my parents and now me and my sister do it. Me and my brother do it. So it just is what it is. But I, while I am like wrapping them, make sure that I have it written down as a purchase gift that I got them. And then I'll write down how I wrapped it, et cetera, et cetera. I have a container of bows. And then I have a container of boxes. These are just tags. And then I have a container of tags. Another hack is to get tags at the dollar store. Honestly, there is nowhere better because it's the tags are not less quality. They're actually sometimes better quality than you get somewhere else. And they're super cute. Like look how stinking cute these are. And it was just a dollar for the whole book and it came with 52. So I highly recommend the dollar store for lots of things. Another thing to get at the dollar store, which I've touched on in some video, I don't remember which one, but is to get boxes at the dollar store, especially if you don't like to wrap. These boxes are cute enough on their own. Like put something in it and then stick the tag and the bow on the box. You don't have to wrap it. Maybe tape the box so that it doesn't come apart. But 10 out of 10 recommend that. I love wrapping, so I struggle with these because I see them and I'm like, oh, that's so cute. I don't want to wrap it, but I want everything to be wrapped. I love it. I love wrapping paper. I love Christmas. Anyway, so I suggest that. They also have some of those at Target. Look for like the one or three dollar ones. I'm just not big on, I love having Christmas stuff like Christmas wrapping, Christmas boxes, Christmas bows, everything. But I get everything on sale because it's just not worth spending a ton of money on the wrapping when I could spend that money on the gifts, if that makes sense. So I will probably do some kid gifts first because some of the gifts I don't want to show on here. So if I'm showing the gift, like I don't want people to watch it to see. But first I'm going to go ahead and I have a box full of Christmas presents and I'm just going to go ahead and organize them by whose they are so that I know. And then we will resume. All right. I kind of had to adjust you because I need this area for my wrapping paper my wrapping station as I like to call it. Hopefully my roommate doesn't come home because I'm wrapping her gifts. Anyway, I'm just getting one of these plain boxes right now. I'm gonna wrap something for my brother. If you put something in a box, you should line it with tissue paper. Maybe that's not like a, I don't think that's like a no, like you have to thing, but it's just kind of like smarter. So I have plenty of wrapping paper, as you can see, but I'm just gonna lay this down on the box. I should have done like a and a during this, but we'll just wing it because you don't wanna just see me wrap and not hear me talk about anything. I did talk to my brother and asked if he wanted things wrapped or if he wanted them in a bag because I feel like he's 15 and so I'm like, Maybe you're too cool to wrap, like unwrap things, but he's not to my pleasant surprise. So I was happy. I love wrapping. I still love unwrapping gifts and my whole family knows that. But then some of them are like, sorry, I had to put things in bags or I got tired and <laughs> I put them in a bag. And I'm like, it's fine. It's the thought that counts, but also I just love wrapping. So me and my sister always get so mad at my mom because she'll tape every single box, even if she wraps it. And we're like, why do you do that? Why did you tape the box? It's harder to open. We don't sit with scissors around the Christmas tree. So we always get mad at her. I was just thinking about doing it. That's why I said that. Another reason I like to write these down is because I don't want everyone to have the same wrapping paper the whole time. So I look through what they have not already had for wrapping, which I know is just like so extra, but also highly recommend if you can, I know obviously this is not always within one's control, but if you can get the lined paper on the inside like this, can you see it? Lines, oh my gosh, it makes it so much easier to cut 
and you can know that you're cutting straight, which I rarely ever do anyway, even with the lines, but it's still helpful. My one complaint with TJ Maxx wrapping sometimes is that it is so long and I'm like, I don't need this much. And then when I try to fold it over, I have to fold over the whole piece and it takes me forever. Okay, I underestimated the amount of room that I was gonna need for the wrapping paper. What's new? So I guess during this, I'll talk about some of our family traditions in the Christmas spirit. Um, we always watch National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation on Christmas Eve. There's been only one Christmas Eve where we did not watch it and it was because I was in the ER. So I feel like that's a good excuse, you know? Um, I think I came home at like 11 or 12 and I was like, we can still watch it. We didn't because my family loves me and they were like, please go to sleep. I know you're tired and you don't feel well, so. But we watch it every Christmas. We know all of the words. I always get my dad some kind of National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation thing for Christmas. And so that is always fun. It's just such a great movie. If you don't watch it, I just don't know what to tell you, but comment down below your favorite Christmas movie or if you watch the same one every year. We always have cinnamon rolls Christmas morning. A must. I feel like we don't have a ton of traditions. We just have like a very set schedule. Like, so Christmas Eve, we go to Christmas Eve service. My dad's always been a pastor and my sister works at a church. We're at Christmas Eve service on Christmas Eve. So we do that and then we go to Waffle House because it's what's open. Then we go home and we watch National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I remember one year we, I guess, didn't think about it. We'd gotten rid of our DVD player and we were like, oh my gosh, how are we gonna watch it? So we tried to buy it like through our TV, but we couldn't find it. Like it wasn't even on sale anywhere. We were like, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? Eventually we realized that we could play it on my brother's Xbox, which is what we've done every Christmas since. But it was, high key scary like I can't imagine what my dad would have done if we hadn't been able to watch it okay also need opinions so like is this sticker too much with this wrapping or is it cute you know like is it too much truck with a Christmas tree or is that cute what do we think I think maybe my problem with that one is that I don't really like the colors against this also, I spend a large amount of time trying to pick out the perfect stickers for every gift and nobody even really looks at them. So I don't know why I do this to myself, but I do. But anyway, so that's our Christmas Eve and then we go to sleep. We wake up Christmas morning, we make cinnamon rolls, we make muffins as well usually, and then we'll all sit down and None of us really wake up. My brother doesn't really wake up early. He's a big sleep inner. Usually we're like waking him up. Sometimes on Christmas morning, he'll get up like once he hears people, he's like, oh, okay, it's Christmas. But on a regular day, he'll sleep till like noon. Such a teenager. I don't really know. I feel like I had that. I had one summer where I could do that. And then now I wake up at like 7.30 at the latest, so. And on Christmas morning, since I love Christmas so much and I wanna be awake for as many hours of it as possible, I wake up pretty early. I'm usually the first one. Sometimes I'm even the one who like starts the cinnamon rolls and the muffins because I'm just like, let's get this going. I love Christmas. But so we do that and then we'll sit down to open gifts. We usually have my brother. I'm like, I'm just talking and I'm not even doing these gifts. Hold on. Two. Good thing I'm a teacher and have every single marker, Sharpie, pen, whatever you could ever need in your whole life. I'm right. First gift completed. Wrapped, not completed, whatever. But so then we have my brother pass out every single gift to each person. So we each have a place that we sit. He usually sits in the middle of the living room. So he just puts all his presents in the middle of the living room. And he passes out 
each person's gifts and then we go one by one. So usually we'll start by age and then if Ryan ever wants to open a present, another present, like he's like, I want to open another one. Then we just let him, like we kind of let him do whatever he wants. But I'll go like my brother, me, my sister, my dad, and my mom. And then we start again and we go one by one each time. And it takes hours, but it is the best way to do Christmas ever. We all like don't want it to end. We just want to enjoy it. We talk about the gifts. We're like, oh my gosh, how'd you know we wanted this? Oh my gosh, blah, 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 blah. So good. It is so good. And I love how much we all just, I feel like it gives a lot more opportunity for us to appreciate the gifts we got and like the thought behind it and just all of it in general. So that makes me very happy. So I do love that about Christmas. And then we just kind of hang out for the rest of the day. We don't really do anything else. I mean, I know when I have kids, it'll be like so exciting because they'll be so excited to like open all their gifts and stuff. But I'm also going to be kind of sad because it's going to be like so fast paced and then it's going to be over, you know? Like, I feel like the only reason we get to do it like that is because me and my sister are both old enough to where like we want it to be slow paced. And my brother, for a while, my brother would just open everything and then the rest of us would go. But now he's kind of slowed down too enough to be like, yeah, we'll do it one by one. He wants it to last. It's just like fun. When my sister and I were little before my brother, we would usually come to um, my grandparents here in Georgia. We'd come to their house for Christmas. We drive like after the Christmas Eve service. Oh, I really like that. I can't show you because it's somebody who will watch it. But anyways, why is it taking me so long to get this story out? So we would drive through the night usually or like, I mean, it's only a few hours and we would come here and then we'd wake up on Christmas morning and we would go out into my grandparents' um, living room and all of our gifts would just be out, like not wrapped. Which I wonder sometimes is like, is that why I like wrapping so much? But I loved it. I loved it when I was little. Like we just came out and it was like sensory overload of every gift we could see. And we were like, oh my gosh, what do we do first? What do we touch first? And it was just really fun. I was so excited. Thinking about that makes me so happy. We have like so many pictures of us like standing in the doorway with like our eyes closed and then like when we open up and like all the gifts set out. So that was how my parents decided to do it when we were younger. I loved it. It didn't take away any of the magic. Sometimes I like to put things in boxes that are like too big for them so that it looks larger than it is. But then other times I worry it's gonna like move around, you know, if it wobbles too much and it's something I don't want to wobble. Let's see. Ugh. This box is so cute. It's just like simple, but it says joy. Um, let's see, will this fit this? No. Also, if you're watching this, comment down below whether you would prefer wrapped gifts or if you like bags. Something I always forget to do is flip over the wrapping or flip over the gift before I start wrapping it you know because if you don't then when they like tear it open it's like upside down I'm trying to figure out how you know what I mean you know what I mean oh this is glittery Kristen if you're watching this wow it is super cute I will give it that but there's glitter all over these leggings now I'm gonna have to wash them does anybody else always have like a lot of feelings about having to wash your leggings? Because, you know, you expect your leggings to last like a lot of wash, like a lot of wears before you have to wash them. At least I do. I don't wash my leggings every time I wear them unless I like sweat in them. But usually it's like just day to day wear because I don't go to the gym. So I don't usually have to worry about that. But excuse me, what happened here? Is it all like that? Party foul. I don't know if it said this on the wrapping, but it like, it's just already cut into little sheets. And then like, that's it. So I can't, if it's bigger than that, then what do I do? Let's see if it'll go long ways. <gasps> it will, it will. 
But I'm like, what is this? Like, what? What? What are they using to measure this? Like, I just got lucky that this fit this box. Or, like, was big enough to fit this box. But I feel like that's a risky move. Glitter gift wrapping. Oh, yeah, it says three heavyweight sheets. It does say it. Interesting. Is this other one I got three heavyweight sheets, too? Anyway, okay, pay more attention than me and read the wrapping. I just assume that all wrapping is the same wrapping, which I shouldn't. But I do really like the heavy weight. Sometimes I will struggle with the glitter. Sometimes it makes the tape, like, not stick, which is really frustrating for me. Because I already struggle at wrapping, so then when things, like, aren't working, I'm like, what the heck? What do I do now? I know that Vlogmas days are usually shorter than other vlogs. My vlogs have always been super long. Like, since I started, they've been, like, 30 minutes. And I feel like usually, you know, once you start... Sometimes people... that Some people that I follow, like, I follow, like, Alicia Marie, which usually, funnily enough, her vlogs... Her vlogmases are usually her longest videos. She works super hard on vlogmas. Shout out to her. But, like, usually her, like, videos just on a day-to-day -day basis are, like, between 10 and 15 minutes. So, I know that, like, vlogs don't have to be that long. I feel like I just talk a lot. But then, sometimes I worry. Like, right now, it says I've been vlogging for 20 minutes. And then I know I had, like, a six-minute intro clip. But, like, how much of that am I going to cut, you know? How much of that am I going to, like, speed f forward through? Like, how much content do I actually have? I may. You see what just happened? Did you see it? The tape popped off. <sighs> We're going to try it another way. What I was going to say is I think I'm going to put on a Christmas movie. Because why not? and just enjoy the Christmas spirit that is running through my veins right now. Okay, this wrapping is god-awful. Please do not look at it. Don't text. Like, what is happening here? I feel like maybe I'm just not patient enough with it. Maybe that's my problem. Should be more patient with the fam. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know if I would necessarily recommend this, uh, ply, what is it called? Thick heavy weight sheets. Not sure I would recommend, at least not the glitter ones because it's really just not staying together and I'm gonna have to like super glue it and then she won't be able to open it. But, but the wrapping is so cute. Oh, so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna start my movie and then I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, it is now an hour and a half later and I have wrapped many gifts, I will show you. Here's our current spread. Sorry, the lights are super extra. I just took an Instagram story. <laughs> but this is what I got done in that time. It takes a lot of time, and I was kind of paying attention to the movie. So the movie that I just watched was Christmas Catch. It's on Netflix. Super cheesy, but it was like a good little rom-com Christmassy thing in the background. It was actually like semi-interesting. So. so I'm gonna just watch Christmas with a view and that's pretty much it. And hopefully one or two of the tips were helpful. I am looking through the wrapping that I used and how much I have left. I may not need any this upcoming year. Will that stop me? Probably not, but oh well. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and found it interesting. And I hope you're having a great December. I will see you tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas.